Pro. What's up guys, welcome back to Dexec Pro. New ETA Hand with version 2.2b is released and ready to install to jailbreak your PlayStation 5. It comes with lots of options, features and fixes that I'm gonna just cover all of them in this video tutorial. First I'm gonna teach you how to install it, then I'll go and cover all the new features. Now go to settings. Network, Settings, connect your PlayStation 5 to the internet first. Press the Options button on the controller, Advanced Settings, scroll down and go to DNS Settings, switch it to Manual, then go to Primary DNS and assign this IP address, 62.210.38.117 and hit OK to connect. Now go back to Settings. User's Guide Hit Yes and click on this UMTX2 Click on Jailbreak and wait Click on ETA Hand 2.2b and wait. And this is it guys. My PS5 is easily jailbroken with the new ETA Hand. Click on Options and close the window. The first feature of this new ETA Hand is a startup time improvement by 1 to 2 seconds. Now, if you go to settings and scroll down, you will see a new option as ETA hand toolbox instead of just this traditional debug settings with a new look and some new features. Hit on ETA hand toolbox, scroll down and here is the new option called PS5 Webman Games. This option browses and runs the backup version of PS5 games directly from internal or external hard drive. I mean, previously you had to run PS5 games through item flow application, but now you can run them from here. You just need to format your hard drive with the XFAT file system and create a folder in the root of the HDD and name it ETA Hen. Click to enter, create another folder and name it games. Open it up and copy paste all of your PS5 backup games folder inside this folder. Then connect the hard disk drive into the PS5. Come back to PS5 Webman games and you will see that they appear here to run and play. Another new feature is controller shortcuts. Go to settings, ETA hand toolbox, controller shortcuts. Controller shortcuts is a cool feature that helps you to assign shortcut buttons for cheat menu, hand toolbox, webman games, and toggle case stuff. For example, for cheat menu, you can assign long hold share button like the traditional one on PlayStation 4 if you remember. For the hand toolbox, I assign single tap share button. For PS5 Webman games, I choose hold R1 plus L1. And for toggle case staff, I choose hold R2 plus L2. After assigning these buttons, when you press them, it takes you directly to the relevant menu and saves your time, guys. Now, another change happened if you go to settings, ETA Hand Toolbox, and here it is, Settings. Previously, the name was Utility, and now there is this new name instead. If you get inside it, you see we got Pause Case Stuff option here. Case Stuff is a powerful jailbreak tool that lets you tweak the PS5 system while it's running, and now it's updated to version 1.5, guys. So with this new version, you can pause it only for PS4 or PS5, or for both, and even set it to no pause. Another new cool feature is Cheat Menu. 
go to settings, ETA hand toolbox, cheats. This option will now check if all the cheats are up to date instead of always just redownloading the whole repo every time. It also fixed an issue with cheats not showing the full description for long descriptions. With ETA Hand 2.2b, all PS4 cheats should now work because ASLR is natively disabled, guys. The next new feature in ETA Hand 2.2b is Remote Play, guys. Go to Settings. ETA Hand Toolbox, Remote Play. So it gives you the pin code and account ID that you can use on apps to play remotely on your PlayStation 5. If you connect your USB stick to the PS5 and click on Save Remote Play Details to USB, then you can open the text file which contains both the encoded and decoded account IDs. Next option happened in the REST mode. Go to Settings, ETA Hand Toolbox, Settings, REST mode options, and Disable Toolbox Auto Start when entering REST mode. So this new option fixes some issues in terms of entering REST mode, such as kernel panic or stuff like that, guys. Next cool feature happened in Item Flow, guys. Go to Settings, ETA Hand Toolbox and install Homebrew Store. Open up Homebrew Store and download and install the new version of Item Flow. Now, open up Item Flow. Press Options on the controller to get the settings. Go to ETA Hand Home Menu Shortcuts and press X to install Cheat Media Shortcuts. Then install Games Media Shortcuts. And finally install Browser Media Shortcuts. You can set the homepage URL for it. I set it to google.com. Now, if I close Item Flow and go back to the dashboard, Media, here they are guys, the shortcuts. For example, if I open Browser, it directs me to Google. And here is Cheat's shortcut if I open it. And finally, the PS5 webman that directs you to your PS5 games on your USB storage. Another cool feature is that they fixed the system's game patch checker to not auto-update games with ETA hand active. And this is it guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Subscribe to Dextech Pro YouTube channel. Channel.